6th early May 1945. Captain Jack Lee and his men in the 23rd Tank Battalion, 12th Armoured Division, are located in the town of Kufstein in the Austrian Tyrol. Suddenly, around a corner, a Kubelwagen appears. Inside are two Germans. The Americans immediately train their M3s at the start of Germans. The decorated German major, Joseph Gangel, is forced to kneel and is searched. He shows Lee a note. The note explains that Castle Itter has been holding many French politicians and VIPs during the war. The SS are on their way to terminate them. A smiling Jack Lee rallied his men and told them they're going on a rescue mission. The party that eventually arrives is just one Sherman tank, Lee's Bazotten Jenny. Seven American personnel in total and around a dozen Wehrmacht and resistance men loyal to Gangle. At the castle, they are met by the mainly French prisoners, and an SS captain, Kurt Siegfried Schrader, has vowed to defend the French prisoners, the Americans, the Wehrmacht, and the SS captain form an unlikely alliance to defend the French VIPs. Lee tells them to head to the cellar and hide with the women and children, but the belligerent Frenchmen said no and took up arms to form part of the defense force. Around 4 a.m., an exchange of fire occurs, but after return fire, booming from Bazotin Jenny's 50 caliber, it's silenced. Shortly after, the battle restarted. The windows of the castle were shot out and chunks of masonry fell all around as the assault continued. Back in front of the gatehouse, a huge clang resounded and Bazotin Jenny lurched. The old girl was hit by an anti-tank round and she was enveloped in fire. The crew escaped and got back inside the gatehouse just in time before the Sherman's ammunition cooked off. French VIPs, mainly older men, were calmly ignoring Lee's orders to take cover and decided that they too would join in the melee. Gathering behind the parapets, they covered the south side, enthusiastically firing all the time. One of the men, Paul Reynaud, was an ex-Prime Minister of France. He decided he was best positioned getting in the thick of the fire with the Americans in the gatehouse. Unwilling to lose a French VIP in the battle, Gangle, the German major, saw the danger and jumped up and dashed towards the Frenchman. A sniper spotted the opportunity and took the shot. Lee watched as Gangle was fatally hit. The fire from the 88 intensified and the SS started to press their advantage. One of the prisoners, John Barotra, was an ex-tennis player. Courageously, he stepped forward and told Lee he would vault the wall and go and get reinforcements. Disguising himself as an Austrian peasant, Barotra vaulted over the wall and mounted into the forest. The battle raged on and the entire SS assault force decided that this was the moment to push forward. Just as a Sherman, the Bosch Buster rolled into view along with truckloads of American troops and Barotra sporting an American uniform. The SS knew their mission to terminate the French VIPs was doomed and retreated back into the forest. Gangle was honored as a national hero for his role in the Austrian resistance after his death. Jack Lee was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. SS Captain Schrader, who had protected the prisoners and helped the defense, was imprisoned for two years, a somewhat lesser punishment than he would have otherwise received. 